Hey guys and welcome! We got ourselves Just Sleek, the official Heroes trailer. Came out earlier this week. Yeah, on Sunday. I didn't get to check it out. Um, but we're checking it out now and we're gonna see what I didn't get to see on Sunday. Um, yeah, it's Saturday for you guys, so hope you guys enjoy the trailer. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I'm hoping this movie does really well, especially with all the trouble it's been having with a lot of reboots, uh, reshoots and everything like that. Um, Let's just jump into this bad boy and see what, what, uh, what we got for it. Oh, yeah. Take that as a yes. What? The ring. The world remains in mourning after the death of Superman. Violence, acts of war, and terrorism are all on the rise. That sucks. It was the end of the world. Woo! Invasion. Damn. I think it's something more. Something darker. Huh. We're asking people we don't know to risk their lives. Strong man as strong as alone. You ever heard that? That's not a saying. That's the opposite of what the saying is. And the girl, the girl, the huh. Divided. We are not enough. Did you just trip? The world needs Superman. Made him <laughs> promise. That was sick. You together. Right ain't over yet. My man. My man. <laughs> Those parodies look pretty awesome, though. I'm not gonna lie. As a bat signal, that's your. Oh, shit, sorry. That's your signal. That means we have to go now. Yeah, that's that's what that means. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. So it looks like it's, you know it's gonna be looks gonna be pretty good. Um, minor issues here and there, but uh, all in all, you know, I'm, I'm hoping it does really well. Uh, issues right there. Uh, I don't know, Barry seems more like Wally West when it comes with the, the joking around. Um, that's that's one issue I have on, like, don't take part of uh, Wally's characteristics where... Because Wally West is a little bit more jokey and more lighthearted than Barry is. Uh, Barry can be lighthearted, but he is, you know... Yeah, so just the, just the minor differences here and there. Uh, I I think the CGI, you know... I don't mind that the, the universe is dark, that DC is going dark with the universe. Uh, I think it's really good. Marvel does have their uh, world where it's like semi grounded and yet very vibrant uh, colors and stuff like that, and it's not as dark as uh, DC's, and, it, and they're doing really well. It works for them. Um, when they have to go dark, like with they with Daredevil and all that on the shows, it works fine. Um, it's a big contrast from their show to the uh, big screen. But Just League, they went dark right away with Superman going darker. Um, I didn't mind it, you know, being a darker tone and stuff like that. Um, I just didn't, uh, I thought with the Superman, he was a little bit more, not as, you know, light, lighthearted as, like, he would normally be. He was a little bit more hardcore. But, it's still, I still enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty cool, uh, pretty, pretty cool, you know, take on it. And then you have the Batman vs. Superman, which I thought they just, 
they just went a little too hard with what they were trying to do, to, to put too much into it. And that's why it was just like, dude, I go, I understand Marvel, you know, beat you guys to punch by getting the Avengers out there and all that. Take your time. Slowly flesh out what you got to do. You know, lay the groundwork, you know, a payoff. Marvel is, you know, years ahead of you, right? They're going to have to stop soon. So that, you'll still be going after they stop. So don't worry about it. Plus, you got a fan base. DC, you got a big, big fan base. So there's no worries about you guys doing, you know, not, you know, raking the big dollars. Do the story right. Give the fans what, you know, what we want. A great story and a great, you know, continuity. And, you know, just don't, don't fumble the ball too much. Uh, that's why, you know, a lot of people get disappointed with, you know, another DC movie coming out. Cause like, is it going to be another Green Lantern? You know, um, no, we want, we want something great, something really good and solid. Just with a lot of issues that we've been hearing about it, it's definitely very scary to, to think that it's going to be another Suicide Squad. Um, you know, with a lot of issues that it had going on. Will this Justice League movie show us what the DC universe will give us? Or will it, you know, fall short and hurt us even more? Wonder Woman showed us what the potential of what they can do. And it was an amazing movie. Phenomenal. Hands down, one of the best DC live action movies to date. Man of Steel is one of my favorites. I loved it. This one was way better. Batman Superman was a big letdown. I enjoyed Two Star Squad for what it was. I knew it wasn't going to be a big success, but I enjoyed it for what it was. You know, um, it was one of the movies I couldn't take too seriously. Could have been better. Yes, it could have been better. But I thought it was a lot better than Batman vs. Superman. I'm just hoping that with Wonder Woman, this is, that's the starting point of them going better and better. I don't want to see Wonder Woman here and Austin, it drops down with the Justice League. We cannot see it drop. Uh, Justice League is supposed to be a big temple like the Avengers for Marvel with all the heroes teaming up. Justice League has to pull off big, big numbers and cannot disappoint us. Um, but again, you know, that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your worries in the comments below, you know, about Justice League. Do you think it will pull it off? Do you think it will kind of like let us down like Batman vs. Superman or Suicide Squad? Or will it pull a Wonder Woman box office opening and just kill it out there and beat the Avengers opening box office numbers? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys around for more. Alright guys, take care. Bye.